Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this video and as you can see I've got in my possession Flight Simulator Lite Foldable Flight Simulator Cockpit by Next Level Racing. Now I saw a review, one or two reviews of this and I thought I want one. I've always wanted some kind of cockpit for a flight simulator. And it's a flight simulation in general. It's never really been feasible. The cost is astronomical on that. And the space as well. It takes up a lot of space. I saw a couple of reviews of this cockpit folding chair. And I thought, you know, I like that. So I reached out for full disclosure. I reached out to Next Level Racing. They sent me this as a review, review copy. It is the actual uh, consumer copy that a consumer would receive but they sent me this particular one so I could review it as you can see there's many different configurations where you can set up any video I've watched on this are always just setting up their flight yokes sort of whole task system rather and throttle I want to set up my flight yoke my beloved Logitech flight yoke on this and my throttle quadrant and keyboard and mouse maybe and I also want to try it with the Xbox set up the whole task one with the T-Flight rudder pedals to see how that works with it as well I'm going to be brutally honest with my review even though this is a review copy I want to give you the best advice Anyway, let's not hesitate, let's get on with this video. Okay, so what's in the box? Or what's out of the box now? <laughs> Here's the actual main cockpit itself, the chair itself, folding chair. I've left this on just to show you how it comes when you take it out, how it all comes. Can I say premium? Absolute premium feel to it. Beautiful, plush, expensive feel to it. That's a chair. Obviously I'm going to be folding this out and showing you this in detail later. This is where the weight of the box comes. That is heavy. Inside these nicely wrapped up in all this kind of silver jazzy covering. So these are all metal plates. You've got bigger ones down below. Great big heavy plates. Don't worry, I'll show you these in more detail later. Look at this, you even get a sort of spanner, allen keys, different tools. The screws, everything you need. Nuts and bolts full of stuff. What's this? I'll be showing you all this later. All nice little bits and pieces. Beautifully wrapped up. Feels like I'm some sort of feels like a king's treasure. Lovely, lovely. You can see where the premium quality is kicking in now. And you also get this rather nice U instruction manual. Look at this. This is not just your typical paper instruction manual. This is a booklet that you get with it. With all the different instructions. Where are we? We're in Dutch, Italian, French, obviously different languages. There you go. I think that's the English one. Uh, I, but no, that's not English, is it? So where's the English one? The English one likely be... There we go. What's in the box? That's the English one. Rather nice manual. I won't show you this too much detail. Just show you part of it. So this is what you'll be getting. Doesn't it look good? Is it coming through on camera? This looks incredible to me. Just <laughs> the contents. If I had bought this, I'd be more than happy. More than happy. I can say that straight from the start, simply from the contents and the way, the presentation of the whole thing. Ah, oh, I'm more excited now I've opened it than I was when I received the actual box and looking at it. More excited now I've actually seen the contents. 
Lovely stuff. That's all I can say there. Lovely stuff. I'm not going to show you step by step me me setting this up. I want to read through this properly and then read through the different configura configuration options and goodness knows what. Have a good read first before I start setting it up. I'll set it up and do a couple of bits and pieces. Uh, perhaps show you these unwrapped as well. And then we'll come back to a more interesting point. I'm going to set it up in there where you can see all my computer uh, equipment. Basically, I've got my PC, my Series S there. It's where I record my Series S footage. If you're interested to see that, by the way, click on my join button. I have a channel membership. And one of the videos is on me, how I capture my Series S footage on my PC. Shameless plug there, but don't worry. <laughs> but that's why I'll be setting this up in there. So let's get on with getting this together. I'll read through this uh, beautiful instruction manual, get this set up, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so after sitting for 10 minutes or so reading the instructions, I've started assembly, I've cleared the space, I won't put that into the reckoning of the time that it takes to assemble this, because you may have a space already available. But I've spent about maybe 10-15 minutes so far. I have come across a little bit of a niggle, and I will mention this, in the instructions on step one, it mentions there, install nut, bolt and washer into the headset. Now these are the different bolts and washers and nuts that come with it. You get another bag, but these are slightly different. I've opened this up, these are very different. These are ones basically the nuts, bolts and goodness knows what. It does give you a contents of what's in the package. But it doesn't actually say what bolts what, and they're not actually called bolts, they're just given the dimensions of the screws and washers and goodness knows what. Which is all fine. But when it comes to that, I had to do this by trial, trial and error. I'm talking about this. There's one here and there's one on the other side. I had to find the correct uh, bolt, or screw basically, bolt, and the correct, correct nut and washer that fit, fitted over it. It wasn't too much. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with DIY projects generally, so I, was, I managed to do it, but I wasted 10 minutes actually emptying both bags to find the correct one. Bit of a suggestion to next level rating. In the instructions, actually put down the dimensions of which bolt and nuts you mean. It'll make it a lot easier, especially for people who are very new to DIY things, uh, D DIY jobs. But, you know, now I'm more familiar with what's in there, it should a little bit quicker i'll carry on one good thing I, I have found it comes with all these different tools spanners allen keys on this allen key on the other end is a screwdriver like a phillips screwdriver phillips head screwdriver because i was thinking how do i get that nut in there because it's a phillips head nut a uh, bolt rather but it comes with a screwdriver uh, i have a screwdriver anyway so it doesn't matter but that's quite handy it comes with all the tools you need what i'll do i'll carry on carry on assembling this i'll only come back if there's a point i want to raise otherwise i'll get the chair put together at least okay so progress report i'm about an hour in and don't take that for typical it takes me an age sometimes with DIY jobs. I would say I'm slightly autistic when it comes to DIY, generally. I'll link my arcade build I did a while ago. People can put those arcade cabinets together in a couple of hours. It took me a week, but I, I made it take a week. I was enjoying the, the process of doing it. I've got the chair put together. I'll talk more into detail about what the bits and pieces are that I've got attached there. See, I've got the rudder sort of space bracket attached there too, and the space for the, uh, well, in my case, my yoke system, or maybe a keyboard. A couple more bits and pieces to put together. Thought I would unwrap some of these silver bags, or silver packages. And you can see you've got all these brackets. The more I look at this, the more <laughs> not only does the more terrifying it starts to look, but the more I start to think to myself, this is for the entrepreneurs, the flight simulation enthusiasts who want to have a sort of gaming chair solution that fits 
looks like it's going to be pretty much fit every type of controller and setup imaginable that you have these are not all of them i will unwrap all of them by the end of this video or somewhere in this video so you can see what comes with it but look at them incredible yeah let's take a better look at the uh chair itself it's got like a kind of felt feel to it a very nice plush material very nice to sit on very comfortable very nice to touch actually i've got to say does it come through it's quite a wide probably doesn't come through with this camera but it's a wide chair now i'm not a small guy i'm not a small small guy i'm about six five foot eleven six foot but i'm a slim guy and i do feel quite small not not that it ruins the experience but it feels like it could take certainly a, a larger size person. Let me just say that. Let me try and get that across in this video. I don't think I can, but in in real life, if you were here, you could see how wide it is. Very comfortable to sit on. I can imagine me playing flight simulators and falling asleep. It's that comfortable. I hope not. I don't uh, condone falling asleep whilst flying. But I can, <laughs> it's that comfortable, very comfortable, very nice plush material. As I was talking about, the more I put this together, the more it feels like an, an enthusiast type uh, chair project. That would go there, it would slot in that, see if I can do this while recording. Slot in there, you've got a sort of latch there that would tighten, so you can unscrew it, move it out of the way and even fold it that way to get out. You've got various straps. Now these are safety straps. Not so much that one, but I was wondering what I was wondering why we got a seatbelt with the package. That's in case the worst comes to the worst. The legs collapse. Can you see that? That's just like a seatbelt mechanism. There. Worst comes to the worst. Something collapses. The legs won't just flatten out, and you'll break your back, or you'll injure yourself because that seatbelt will stop those legs from just going skew whiffy so i like that because when i was putting it together i thought what if the worst happens i'm not a heavy person but what if the worst happens that stops the worst from happening so i like that feature simple but effective but nice 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 now i've got to put you've got all these different things you can move these around put extra bits on them for your whatever throttle keyboard mouse i've still got to uh, discover those joys ah, it's just nice it's all coming together so anyway that's my progress report i'll carry on and i'll be back later okay so another progress report where i'm at in the process I've put these plates on. This will be for my throttle. Like it could be used for the throttle, for my Logitech throttle quadrant. And they slide backwards and forwards so you can actually put them to where it feels comfortable when you're sat in the seat. I've done this backwards. This should be over there and that should be here. Because this is for the mouse. You get an extra part here for the mouse. Put a mouse there for effect and then you can put something on there if you want i could leave the mouse there and just put the throttle quadrant there it doesn't really matter in fact although i do like using the mouse with my right hand so it'd have to be the other way around i'll do that later so i'm pretty much set up with the equipment wise i just need to put my flight unit stuff on there now the throttle quadrants the yoke and the rudder pedals Bit of a hint, if you do buy one of these chairs, I'm going to give you a hint. There's another, I don't know if you can see it here, there's another little table that you put on first that just slots into the chair and you screw it in. That's quite easy. This part, putting this on top so it moves backwards and forwards and you've got the spaces in between them, is a little bit more complex and it doesn't tell you adequately enough, adequately enough rather, in the manual so uh next level racing that's another thing it just needs to be a little bit clearer i couldn't make head or tail of it i had to sit for a further 10 minutes to figure out how that works it wasn't too difficult and i do enjoy that kind of puzzle elements to it 
So DIY I'm not over keen on, but the puzzle element to it is quite intriguing. And what it is, this plate is exactly the same as the plate I just showed you. You get these studs. Ugh. On one end, it's slightly threaded. That's that way. Slightly threaded. Where you can actually screw them in. You get four different, eight different places you can screw these in. I won't do that one, but I've screwed that one in. Four at the top there and four here. And they're slightly threaded holes, so you can see which holes, when you, if you do buy the unit, you can see which holes these are. When you get it, you can actually see a little bit of thread in there. Put two there and two there, which is what I've done. Put the spaces in between them, turn it upside down, and that will fit on the tray underneath and you you would put nuts underneath them not too tight and that allows the sliding mechanism that you can see there so that's how that's done if you do buy one of these chairs maybe go and watch that part again but it's pretty straightforward these and it just just tell you in the manual about these little studs at least little threaded part up threaded part on top there screw them in so oh, as you can see on the other side, it's just showing on the other side where I've screwed it in. And then put the spaces in between them and stick them on the table. And that's how that's done. I now have to go out for a couple of hours. So if I come back and start putting my uh, flight unit on there, if it's a little bit darker, don't be surprised. I just have to go out now. But for you, it will just be a minute or two. A second or two. So I'll see you soon. Just another quick little update when I'm putting this unit together. This panel is obviously the, it's like this plate with a mouse part to it. And it's off the, what would that be, the right hand side when I'm sat in the chair. As you can see there, that's the tray where you put this on top. So I've taken this off to attach my throttle. Now, I'm just going to be transparent. I'm recording this and telling you this just to be transparent with my review. I can only get two of the screws in that came with the throttle unit itself, two in, because I can't quite see the other holes. You can just about see one there, but they're difficult to actually screw in, so I'll just put one in on each corner. Jesse or somebody from Next Level Racing, if you're watching this, maybe you can give me a bit of help with this. There's no instructions in the manual how to do this, so it's part of a uh, trial and error, but it's on there. The throttle's on there, and it's okay, it's firm enough, with a screw in each corner, it's fine. Now that would be facing that way, so the throttle, that's right, so the throttle will be facing towards me when I'm sat in a chair. That works okay, and I'll have the mouse, there's room for the mouse next to it. So I'll carry on, I'm going to get the uh, plates on top, this plate actually in fact on top of the front bar there and put my well i'm actually going to attach my yoke system to that first and then attach it back on that front plate if i come across any more issues or updates i shall be back with them so with the rest of my equipment set up so i've got my yoke system set up as you can see here it was actually no issues to set this up you get a plate similar to a plate there with all those holes in that attaches to the front bar and the yoke system t attaches perfectly to that lines up perfectly and using some of the bolt supplies i've just bolted it on there's a little screw tap underneath there you can adjust this and then you can adjust the angle of the yoke system as well. I won't do that because really you need two hands to do that. All very customizable. I've got my throttle next to me. I can move that backwards and forwards, that sliding plate. So bring it towards me. It feels very much like you're sat in the cockpit of an aircraft. Something like the Cessna there. I've actually got an autopilot flight going here. Nothing particularly set up, I'm just flying around the London area. Aside from the monitor, I'll talk more about that later. I could do with a bigger monitor, but like I said, I'll come back to that later. Keyboard next to me as well, so I can start messing around. I can move that off and put my uh, tea on there if I want to. Move the keyboard off and put my drink next to me. Got my rudder set up there. You can see if I move them around, you can see they work fine as well. Yeah, for all intents and purposes, 
I'm now sat in the cockpit, which is something I've always wanted. And it's pretty much aimed for that enthusiast, flight simulator enthusiast, who doesn't have a good setup currently, who's... Pre previous to this, I was flying a desk, is the best way I can put it. Now I'm actually sat in the cockpit, and the controls feel very natural, and it's just lovely to fly, and I can just lean my head back, and it's all very relaxing, all very comfortable as well. And all very customizable. I've even got my speakers next to me. I can turn them way up and uh, you can almost feel the rumble of the aircraft underneath you as well, which is lovely. I could do with one of those things that sort of gives you a, a jolt every or vibrations, one of those machines, and plug it underneath the chair. That would be an even better experience. Loving this experience, so much so, I'm looking to buy the CRJ, I think it is, from Aerosoft. It's been out for a while, so watch out for videos on that. I'm likely going to buy that, because this setup is just ideal for that now. And, it, and the experience will really feel like I'm sat in the seat of a cockpit. So lovely, yeah. If you've got PC equipment, like I have a yoke system, throttle, and maybe a multi-panel and other things. If you had a switch panel, you could even mount that on there and put the keyboard on your knee if you want to. Just lovely, so customizable. And um, this opens as well. So you can open this, swing the bar back. Obviously you gotta be kind of gentle so you can get in and out. All very, very nice. Let's move on to the next item. So using the flight simulator like cockpit chair with the Xbox. There's good and bad news. Let's get the bad news out of the way first. If you're going to use the Holtas one, so you can use the rudder pedals with it, because actually that's pretty much the only way you can use rudder pedals with the Xbox uh, flight simulator, Microsoft flight simulator currently. When you separate the throttle and stick on this, it doesn't quite reach to these tables you've got set up to either side. It reaches to about here. Just take my word for it, that wire in between is not long enough between the throttle and stick. And then you've got a wire going across your leg as well. It's just not ideal. The good news is that there's obviously a honeycomb are looking to bring their range, and this is fully compatible actually very compatible with many different flight yacht systems and throttle systems. So when Honeycomb do release their system, this is going to likely fit on here with no issues. Laugh at my monitor, by the way. I've got this monitor on loan. It's just to give you an example of how you can view it. I'm looking to buy, by the way, a 1440p monitor widescreen for around £200. Suggestions in the comments, please. My monitor has conked. So I've got this monitor on loan. It's not too bad. It doesn't have sound, but for the PC, I've got speakers on the way. For the Xbox, it doesn't really matter. It's just a demonstration. Other good news is that, obviously, you've got these tables. You can have your keyboard there, hold task there, in front of you, or on your knee. But why not have it in front of you like this? Actually, this is adjustable, so you can slide this down, bring it closer to you. And then you've got your mouse. Sorry for jumping around a lot there, but you've got your mouse, which, as you can see, just about C, controls the cursor on screen. So let's go to world map etc etc and you can just set off on a flight there so yeah in that sense and then you've got your rudder pedals cable management is a bit of a problem with the Xbox because you've got cables coming from the hull task to your rudders rudders to the Xbox and goodness knows what so but you can manage that you can tidy them up just feel like you're in a cockpit and actually flying this way is quite a novel experience gonna be Fully transparent for you, if you have an Xbox and you're playing Flight Simulator on the Xbox only currently at this time, it's difficult for me to recommend this unless you're having trouble having your keyboard connected and mouse connected and having a place to speak a space to play the Xbox version of Flight Simulator with everything connected like this. It does work. If you want it for that reason, that's fine. It's fully difficult to rec it's difficult for me to recommend this fully for the Xbox versions because of the issues I've just mentioned. It's a shame 
because this whole task, so if I can do this without dropping it, does have holes underneath, so you could actually, you could actually mount it to something like this, one of these trays. So it is a shame. Let's just get that back on there, get that fully configured. There we go. But yeah, flying around is quite nice on the Xbox. Not quite as nice as it is on the PC, I've got to say, with your throttle next to you and your yoke and goodness knows what. But it's handy to have a tray for the keyboard there. Handy to have a tray for your mouse. And you can move that around. And then you've got your hull tass in front of you and your rudder pedals in front of you. It's up to you. I wouldn't fully recommend it for the Xbox version yet until we get more flight uh, units like the yokes and goodness knows what which will hopefully be coming out soon then i would recommend it but there you go that's uh, that's how i've set up flight simulator with my flight simulator like cockpit chair it's quite a novel experience and just to add a little bit of a different perspective on the Xbox version. Typically when I'm playing the Xbox version, I'm on my couch. I've got this on my knee, keyboard by the side of me on the couch and the mouse <laughs> somewhere on the floor. This is all very convenient. You've got everything to hand. You've got your keyboard next to you, press escape. You, got, you can get into your options, uh, mess around. And apologies again, to me the monitor's big enough, it's right in front of me, to you it looks a bit further away. I am looking for that bigger monitor, I'll mention that again. Press escape there, go back, go down to my instruments, I've got my mouse next to me. I don't know if you can see that on screen, but I can start messing around with things like turn autopilot off, because I had it on there. And then I can start flying manually, use a bit of rudder control. It's just all very convenient, so it's a different perspective perspective to have all this like this it's bringing it more and more on par with the pc experience actually playing this way so it's a little bit of a different perspective and so to conclude next level racing flight simulator like cockpit chair foldable cockpit chair by the way i'll show you a picture i'm not going to fold this up now because i've got all my equipment on it but i'll show you a picture of how you can fold it up and move it around Put it in storage if you want to. Absolutely fantastic. Highly customizable, particularly for PC where you may have a flight yield system, throttle, rudder pedals, switch panels, multi panels, all kinds of equipment. The possibilities seem endless. It feels like I'm only just touching on the possibilities of this cockpit chair. You can even adjust the height of it as well. In terms of monitor, <laughs> I won't talk too much more about the monitor and my intentions for buying a widescreen one. I'm using an old sort of wicker table there. Uh, get a better table where you can actually move it closer towards you, have more of a surround screen experience, that would be fantastic. I'm really enjoying it, I'm really rating this as well. Yes, it's a review copy, I didn't pay for it, I'd be more than happy if I pay for this. It screams quality from every angle, from a sort of suede uh, seats there, felt kind of like lovely feeling seats, very relaxing, very enjoyable, and very comfortable to sit on. And just to the, to the customizable options, like I've mentioned. Even when playing the Xbox version of Flight Simulator on this, and having my Holtas 1 set here, and my keyboard and mouse next to me, it just felt great. Feels fantastic. Fantastic. Highly recommended. I did say I'll show you more of what came with the product. You've got this bar that comes with it, and that's for the TPR rudder pedals. Those type of very expensive rudder pedals if you have them. So you can, you can put this on and then mount them. You get this bar here, which is kind of like a support bar for this plate. If you feel this is too flimsy, it doesn't feel flimsy. But if you feel like you want more support there, you can attach that bar and attach it somewhere in a chair to give you more support. I never really felt a need to do that, but it's an option if you want to. And of course, I thought these plates here go on the front bar there. So if you want to put a keyboard, you can rest your keyboard on it. You get two of them. And obviously, screws 
and bolts, you get the spares. So lots of different things and lots of spare and this is just the packaging that came off the foldable chair. So there you go, highly recommended. I'm gonna now probably download the CRJ, buy and download the CRJ and do some future videos on that. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on the video. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more, many more Flight Simulator related videos on the way. And I'll see you soon.